If the smartest chimp equals our toddler, and there's only 1% difference in DNA between us, right? let's go 1% beyond us. Ooh, that's scary. That's what I'm saying. If we go 1% beyond us in that same vector wow. of intelligence. Yeah, they're traveling at the speed of light. Then They've, they've then, figured out light travel. Then the smartest human, they'll roll forward. They'll take, they'll take Stephen Hawking and they'll say, this human is slightly smarter than the rest because he can do astrophysics calculations in his head. Right. Like little Timmy over here who just came home from alien preschool. Right. The toddler. The toddler. Right. <clears throat> And say, oh, you just composed a sonnet. Isn't that cute? Let's put it up on the refrigerator. Oh, you just derived the principles of calculus. Oh, oh isn't that I cute? Oh, that's funny. So if, <laughs> so if the smartest human does what their toddlers can do, right. their average people will have thoughts. They will have sentences that will rise above and beyond our most brilliant capacity to understand. And I stay awake at night wondering, whether the universe has complexities in it that are out of reach of the neurosynapses of the human brain. Wow. That's my answer. So there's information out there that we just cannot conceive we, or perceive. We 